All right, so when Troll Hunters came out last year, it easily became one of my favorite shows of that year, even though it didn't come to my list, whatever, my top 10 list, but whatever. Regardless, that was part one. So, how does part two stack up? Well, let's find out. Here's my quick review for Troll Hunters, part two. All right, to start things off, I'm going to be referencing a lot of season one. So if you have not seen that, I recommend you stop watching and go watch part one. So with that out of the way, let's continue. First up, aesthetic. Of course, not much has changed from the aesthetic here. The art style is still very colorful and is the spiritual embodiment of the Pan's Labyrinth world if it was turned into a children's book. Although I must say, this season is far more darker than the first. Most of this has to do with the fact that we are mostly in the Darklands, the troll market, and when we're in Arcadia, it's usually nighttime. Either way though, it's still to the show's benefit, because the contrast is utterly beautiful, thanks to the neon color scheme. Besides that, uh, the original music is amazingly whimsical just like before, and in many cases, it's kind of better. But all in all, it's more of the same, and if you're a fan of season 1, obviously that's a good thing. And to be honest, same thing applies for the editing, composition of shots, and the writing and dialogue. I mean, it is a typical DreamWorks production. It mixes fantastical big budget action fast-paced editing, amazing shots through great framing, and a tightly written script full of fun for all ages. Again, more of the same, and I can't state that enough. If it ain't broke, don't try fixing it. So fine, let's get to what's obviously different, the story. As usual, don't worry about spoilers for part two, I will be extremely vague. But if you did not heed my warning about part one earlier, listen to me now. I will be talking about the ending of the last season. So, please, one last time, walk away now. Okay, still with me? Let's move on. Taking place two weeks after Jim jumps into the Darklands alone, the Troll Hunters must try to find a way to open the gate once again and save their friend. But while Jim is on the other side, he discovers that a new foe is waiting for him, and that his troubles are only beginning. The new foe is definitely stronger than the last, and along with a gang of new henchmen, the Troll Hunters have their work cut out for them. Overall, the plot is a great follow-up and definitely feels like nothing has changed. Well, that is until the later half of the season comes in. Now, one thing many people may be wondering is, has the unfortunate passing of Anton Yelchin affected this story at all? Well, it seems like it has. Unlike part one, which had 26 episodes, this one only has 13. But other than that, it does appear that things have changed. Again, around the later half of the season, there are far more filler episodes, and the pacing begins to feel off, like some scenes are missing. It just feels jumpy in some areas. Now, in any other case, I would definitely put this against the show. But due to the circumstances, Del Toro and his crew did all they could, and to be quite honest, they still did a pretty good job. Regardless of some hiccups here and there, the story still stands strong as a whole, and the ending does feel earned. The only real thing that I noticed was that this season ends with more of a mid-season finale vibe, rather than an actual season finale like part one. More loose ends are left open. Now, personally, I love cliffhangers, if they are done right, and this is a decent one. Only thing is, I do feel kind of unsure of what will come with part three because sadly, this is the final time we will be hearing Yelchin play the character. Again, avoiding spoilers as the whole show begins its evolution into its next chapter, it's clear that Anton will be replaced, and there's no avoiding it. But I have faith in the creators that they will find another worthy replacement. But besides that, to touch on the vocal work as a whole, there are some new additions this season. Lena Headey of Game of Thrones fame, David Bradley who you may know better as Filch from the Harry Potter films, and of course, the impeccable Mark Hamill. They all bring their A-game, just like the original cast members, and each of them make their characters come to life, even if it's for a brief moment in some of their cases. So yeah, onto my final thoughts. This does not feel like a second season. It truly is a part two to this great story. It continues the saga, and while some unforeseen circumstances have come up in the real world, the heart and spirit of the show never falters, thanks to a great crew. I for one thoroughly enjoyed this continuation, and look forward to what the future holds for the Troll Hunters. It does feel incomplete, yes, but that's because it's not over yet. It's just getting started. Well, let's review. And yeah, this is really just getting started. I mean, whereas we might not get an actual or at least a true part three to Troll Hunters, we are getting a, another companion series, or actually two companion series, in the form of Tales of Arcadia. Tales of Arcadia has been announced and pretty much, Troll Hunters was just part one. Part two is going to be three below, and then part three is going to be wizards. So yeah, apparently Arcadia is like the central hub for all this crazy stuff. 
and well expect more from Guillermo del Toro that's all I can say again I'm a little bummed but again I understand completely understand 100% why that they might be going this direction because of certain circumstances but the story is far from over and the world of Arcadia is just getting bigger and bigger but yeah overall Troll Hunters is a great show and I recommend anyone to watch it and hopefully the future projects that you know they have in mind are just as good and as long as you have the same crew as this one I can easily see it being so but yeah regardless that's the video thank you for watching like comment and subscribe <sighs> I'll see you guys later